After announcing Trump assassination plot, Missouri Senator just made death threat even worse, but still keeping her job? We sadly live in a day and age where we can no longer just disagree, but we must threaten, harass, and degrade the other whom we did not agree with. The 2016 presidential election proved this fact. President Trump understands this all too well. People who disagree with him cannot just simply disagree with him but take it to an inappropriate level. Missouri Senator Maria Chappelle Nardell knows all too well what taking things to an inappropriate level is all about when she joked about President Trump being assassinated back in August. Nardell came to the attention of law enforcement officials and the Secret Service when she tweeted out comments on Facebook. She posted a comment indicating she hoped that President Trump would be assassinated. Nardell's comments came after the Charlottesville attack where she blamed the president for not denouncing neo-Nazis and instead got mad at him for blaming both sides. However, she backtracked her comments later saying the following. I didn't mean what I put up. Absolutely not. It was in response to the concerns that I am hearing from residents of St. Louis. There are people who are afraid of white supremacists. There are people who are having nightmares. There are people who are afraid of going out in the streets. It's worse than even Ferguson. In response to her comments, Rep. William Lacey Clay, Demo, said, Calling for the assassination of the president is a federal crime, she is an embarrassment to our state. Missouri Senate Minority Leader Gina Walls said, There is too much rancor and hate in today's political discourse, and Senator Chappelle Nardell should be ashamed of herself for adding her voice to this toxic environment. Fast forward a few months, and we are in October, and this Missouri Senator is back at her ridiculous antics. Nardell posted a picture to social media depicting the controversial Dove ad commercial where an African-American woman takes off a shirt and then turns into a Caucasian woman whom takes off her shirt and turns into a Hispanic-American woman. Nardell posted pictures of President Trump taking off his shirt and revealing Adolf Hitler. The Dove commercial was chastised by many on social media for being racially insensitive, and Dove corporate had to release a statement about it because of the backlash. The purpose of Nadell's post was to be funny, a meme, hilarious, but it was anything but. While simply a parody it plays into people's base fears and perpetuates ignorant stereotypes. When speaking with the Associated Press, Nardell expressed that the reason she chose to share the meme was because she was upset by President Trump and the White House's response to Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. While she is African American, her mother is from Puerto Rico and she took the hurricane disaster very personally. She noted that she still has relatives on the island. So this is very personal to me. I still have a First Amendment right, and I still have a family I need to fight for, Chappelle Nardell told the AP. Fox 4 reported. It wasn't immediately clear Thursday if her tweet of the Trump meme will cause backlash similar to the kind sparked by her August assassination post which she deleted and apologized for amid calls for her to resign. The state Senate formally reprimanded her in September in a bipartisan 28-2 vote that also renewed a call for her to resign. Chappelle Nardell said she posted her Facebook comment out of frustration over Trump's response to a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, in August. The senator from University City was a frequent protester in Ferguson after the fatal police shooting of Michael Brown an unarmed black 18-year-old, in 2014. Two Republican state representatives from suburban St. Louis criticized Chappelle Nardell's latest social media post and tweets of their own Thursday. Rep. Phil Christophane of St. Peter's called her post shameful and Rep. Jean Evans of Manchester wrote that Chappelle Nardell continues her disgusting attacks on our president. Gov. Eric Greedens and Lt. Gov. Mike Parson, also Republicans didn't immediately respond to messages seeking comment. Parson was among the most vocal critics of Chappelle Nardell after the assassination post. It does not seem to appear that her behavior will change any time soon. It is hard to believe that this recent development is a result of what is going on in Puerto Rico. Because her initial post back a few months ago when Puerto Rico had not yet been ravaged by the hurricane. Does this mean every time President Trump does something she does not approve of that she will post ridiculous memes on social media and then blame others for it?
we need to expect more out of politicians and hold them to a higher standard than this type of behavior. Behavior.